to Dwayne and Nidia, Food, Travel, and Fun. It's me, Dwayne, and this is Dwayne's World of Wings. And this month, we're going to Mexico. So I'm actually going to do a Mexican take on the wings. I'm trying to, but I'm going to make it in a nice, simple, easy way that everybody has access to. There is not one ingredient here you couldn't just get at Stop and Shop or anywhere local. So it is. I mean... I, um, I did actually look at a recipe out there, and I'll share the recipe, the original, and I've just modified it more to my taste. But, um, and I always use like a Parmesan cheese because I just like how it adds texture to, um, the, to the final product that I'm going to serve up. I did do what they, was, what they had done as well, which is use a taco seasoning, so I'm going to. I'm going to take some jalapenos, this, they're jarred, no fresh ones, doesn't matter. You want fresh, go get fresh. But for me, I'm working with jarred. I am gonna chop these things up, mash them down into a puree. So it's not like you're eating chunks of pepper. It just adds the flavor. I'm using Texas Pete. If you've got tapatio you wanna use, feel free. If all you got is Frank's, I really don't see a reason it wouldn't hurt. Uh, this is not the main ingredient to me. It just gives it that little bit of a hot sauce kick added to it. Although Texas Pete is not very hot at all. It's more vinegary. But that's still also a nice um, addition to put in. So one of the primary ingredients that really I think is going to... I'm really interested in trying these out. I have not made this recipe. Is ranch dressing. And that was... Uh, Part of the actual recommendation, like I said, they, the original recipe did show a couple ways of doing it. This is one that can be fried at 375, uh, or I am going to bake, I'm currently baking my wings. I bake all my wings. It's just the way I like to do it. I do it at a higher temperature. I'll do it around 400 degrees, and I do it for a longer time. It takes me about 45 minutes to 45 to 55, somewhere in there to get them right where I want them and nice and crispy because you really don't put anything on them. You can put a little of the salt garlic on the raw wings that I have here up front while it cooks. And I'll probably do that, but that's about all I'm going to do while I make the rest of the sauce and get that ready. Um, I always fo use a foil line pan. I always use a, a cooking spray on it because that's what keeps the wings moving, especially once the sauce gets on them, the sauce tends to glue them to the pan if you don't put a cooking spray. So there you go. Let me uh, get these started up in the oven and I'll come right back and we'll make our sauce and go from there. And we'll have more wings in a minute. So before they go in, I wanna let you know, I added a little salt, garlic, and some chili powder. Put that on the wings and now they're going in the oven. There you go, there they are. In they go. I'm going to chop up the chilies and, and mash them down. Uh, actually, I'm sorry, these are jalapenos. You can use jalapenos, chilies, whatever you prefer. I'm just going to chop these up. Remember, I am trying to make a puree. I'm not, gonna, I'm not looking for chunks. So, and there they go. Almost down to paste. Beautiful. One more quick addition. I put at least a tablespoon of my Parmesan cheese on top. Now that I've tasted it and I like where it's at, and I like to get the Parmesan cheese in early, so it's gonna sit. Because Parmesan cheese, sometimes it can end up a little too crumbly and dry. And by mixing it into my sauce early, I avoid that. It actually does soak up a bit and soften up a little, and it'll give me that nice depth to the sauce that I'm putting on top of this chicken, so. I just wanted you to see that it does. It makes it a little more, it kind of thickens it up. Makes it so that it grabs a bit better. And there you go. You get a better finished product. All right, so. it's been 35 minutes. I did drain this once along the way. Take a nice look. I'll bring it nice and close for you. Still not quite brown enough. We're gonna put it back in, let it go another five minutes. Yeah, um, I may. Do this, free them up a touch, just because it makes things easier as I go. I like freeing them. There we go. They look really good. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you guys hear me okay. 
Yeah, see they're sticking a little bit, but not bad. And that's, that's totally normal. That little bit of stick. It's much, much worse if you don't prep this with like a cooking spray though. It really, really is. So that's it. They're looking pretty good. They're all freed up. Back in they go for another five minutes and we'll check on color. That's all right, it. the next five minute check. Let's see what we got. All right guys, what do you think? I know what I think. And here, I'm gonna give you a nice long shot look. And it is starting to change color, still not enough. I like my skin to get a bit crispy. And that's just starting. That's just starting on crispy. So let's do one more five minute and then we'll start doing our first coat because I'm eh, I've done it enough times. It's going to be where I want it and I'll show you when it comes out. All right, guys, uh, I'm back again. My timer has given me five more minutes. Oh, yeah, that's ready. If I can get it out of here. Let's take another peek. There you go. There's that color. There's a little oil in there. I'm, I should probably drain it off. Let me drain that little bit of oil. All right, so really back. quick, uh, I do want to show you guys I used the, I actually used a glass jar, but I put paper towels in there and drained into that. Totally safe to do if you don't have a metal jar to work with, okay? Just don't use plastic. So, really quick, I like to coat all the visible surfaces. I don't really fight too much about getting underneath, okay? I just hit the tops and I go right around. They are gonna go back in for a second coat and that will only go in for five minutes once again. It's gonna be another five minute process and we're gonna do each coat and let it go five minutes. And that's just how I do it and it comes out great. The color will darken right up on this. I can see the chunks I'm seeing come between the crushed jalapenos and the Parmesan cheese that I've added. So that's giving me my nice chunky little surface on here. And there you go, that's the first coat. And if you'll notice, there's a ton of sauce left for a second coat. So you could actually have a bigger batch of wings and still be just fine. There they are, they're going in. I don't like to leave them out too long for them to cool off at all, but they only need five more minutes and then we'll do it. Coat them, do that one last time and they'll be done. All right, so the five minutes are up. Let me show you what we got. Okay, there you go. First coating, color's really taking. Looking quite nice. And I will do the second brushing. From the looks of the amount of sauce I've got here, this could really do, and I have less wings. I just thought I was doing nine, I was only doing seven. But um, it really could do, probably easily do a dozen wings without increasing this recipe at all. So, it's coming along. They're coating up nicely. Color's doing great. I'm sure there's gonna be a ton of flavor on these. And that's it. They're going back in. I mean, honestly, I really don't hit them again. And I have, it looks like half what I started with right here. So, yeah, you could definitely do a much bigger batch without increasing the amount. Second time in, five more minutes, and we'll be back, and then I'm going to plate them and dry them out. All right, there it is. I'm turning it off, turn the timer off, oven off. She's ready. Oh, yeah. And there you go. Very crispy, beautiful, ready wings. I don't want to mess with my little mic there. I'm going to plate these little guys. They come off pretty easily right now, thanks to freeing them up earlier. They're still a little sticky in there, but not bad. Keep our wings going. So I put them to the plate. Oops, get over here, you. 
They're hot, so no surprise. I don't mind that the tips look a little crispy. Some people eat them. I really don't chew on the tips much. I'm more about, oh, look, she was still stuck. <laughs> Gotta watch out for that. But there you go. My plated. Ugh. What I like to, I'm gonna call these Fiesta wings. And there they are. Let's go try them out. Oh, it's the moment of truth. Let me pick a nice one. And I will uh, make sure I get you guys a really nice look at her. What do you think? I think this looks delicious. It's hot. As you can see, look, steaming. <laughs> it's okay. I'm going to take my chances. I'm going to bite right in and... Mm. It is hot. Tender, juicy, cooked through perfectly. 45 minutes at 400 was perfect. And then a few extra minutes for the two. So it, the total time was 55 minutes with the two coatings. And the two coatings left plenty of flavor on these wings. Oh. Now, they're not a hot buffalo wing, but if you like, if you like putting um, blue cheese, you want to dunk them in blue cheese, you want to dunk them in ranch. They already have some ranch on them, and that flavor does come through. It is a very, very nice recipe. I highly recommend it. They make for a great baked wing. They really, really come out nice. I gotta get one more sample because there's just so much flavor. See right there? That is just covered in flavor, begging for me to bite into it, and I'm gonna. It's an interesting mix with the taco flavor. I like the jalapeno choice. I'm sure it would have been great with chili using a chili pepper. Um, because I used jarred jalapenos, they had, they're basically like soaking in a vinegar, which gave it that little bit of bite, that little, you also get it from the hot sauce as well. But sticking with the Mexican theme, I would honestly believe that if you wanted to add a touch of lime juice to the sauce that you were basting on these wings, that would not hurt it at all. It really wouldn't. Um, I don't feel it needs it. I am going to devour this plate, and it is very much my personal little Mexican fiesta, and I'm going to just love it end to end. And I want to really thank you guys for tuning in and joining me. Here's a, one last look at that plate. Let me tell you, it won't be long before it's a plate full of bones. Thanks for tuning in. Dwayne's World of Wings. Uh, we will be off to a, another country next month. And this is Dwayne from Dwayne and Edia, Food, Travel, and Fun. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, hit the bell for notifications, and we will see you next time. Once again, thanks, everyone. We wouldn't be here without you. Thanks.